Well, as we get closer to Monday, we're starting to see some optimistic signs in our area. Yeah, let's bring in Chris Vickers. He's joining us once again. Chris, what are the cloud cover trends looking like for our region? It's all going to boil down to this because we're certain, of course, the event's going to be happening, but where are going to be the best areas to see the event? And some optimistic signs have been showing up across our area and much of the Great Lakes region. Now, what's going to be highly unusual about this? Based on climatology, we were highly confident even months ago that areas down toward Texas and over into Mexico where they typically see sunny skies this time of the year would likely be the clearest. Well, it may turn out that is it going to be a complete opposite. Very thick cloud cover may blanket much of Texas and even at the southern plains offering up potentially some of the better views across Illinois, Indiana and into Ohio. Now we anticipate we're going to get some clouds late Sunday into early Monday. Those clouds will likely pull to the east as we go through the afternoon offering us hopefully a better chance at viewing that total solar eclipse. Also unusual, great viewing conditions into New England as clear skies could offer up some of the best views across the state of Maine. So highly unusual, the northern locations and the Great Lakes could end up having some of the better views of the total solar eclipse. Our forecast calling for the mid 60s. Now, if we get that cloud cover to linger a little bit, about 40 to 50% of the sky may have some clouds in it at the time of totality. That would still offer us some good views of the total solar eclipse. Highs expected to trend a little warmer, reaching it at the mid 60s as we go through Monday afternoon. And